If you've ever wondered why professionals seem to swing the club so smoothly and effortlessly, yet still hit the ball miles, the information in this video may go some way to help you understand that. Now, all those swings you see have great balance, they have great timing, and of course they have great speed on the club head. Now, in order to get all those three, you must have the right action within your hands. So, the motion of our, our hands and wrists within our swing is like this. There's going to be an element of rotation within your arms, but most importantly for your power and balance, there's going to be an element of hinge within your wrists. In fact, you can see that the hinging motion is simply a vertical action of my wrists, forming roughly 90 degrees. You need to make sure that you're not letting go of the club at this point, when the club's still securely in your hands. Any swing that doesn't have wrist hinge is going to be seriously struggling for power. So a swing without hinge will be short of power, so to create power it's going to have a lot of body motion and you may have seen a few swings like this on the driving range. Trying to create all your power with the body and not using your hands effectively is going to, certainly going to cost you balance and it's definitely going to cost you speed and control over the club head. So what we need to have is we need to have the right balance between the correct hand action and also the correct body motion. Let me give you a really simple thought to help you achieve that. Within my swing, I'll always focus on my L shapes. So the L shapes are just really clear reference points in the backswing and in the follow through to make sure that I'm getting the correct hinge in my wrists. So just before the club reaches the top of my backswing, you can see that there's an L shape formed from the shaft and my lead arm. And that of course is the 90 degree hinging of my wrists. As I move the club down, my wrists then unwind at great speed. My arms turn over and quite early in the follow through, you can see that once again, well, in this case, there's a reverse L shape between the shaft and my arm. So as the club is going from one L shape to reaching the other, it's delivering huge power and whip of the club head into the ball without me having to really muscle my body through at the same time. So a great way to practice that is just to hit some very soft shots with a, a high lofted club, so I'd suggest maybe a 9-iron. Keep your feet fairly close together and just swing from an L shape to an L shape making sure that you hold your follow through, follow through for a few seconds so you can check that you've got the correct wrist hinge. If your follow through looks stiff, then you haven't fully delivered the, the energy within your wrist within the swing. Get really good at those L shapes and your swing is going to have balance, it's going to have more power and you're going to get more control over the club head.